based on English language where we take lessons on some things in English some lessons where we take lessons on English language now we're going to look at the definite article definite the definite article that is when you are going to use they or when you are going to omit it when you are going to use they and when you are going to leave it out use or omission of the article they use or omission of they in your spoken english or written english when are you supposed to use that they and when are you not supposed to use they this article they we've been dealing with the article we've done a and and they so here we're going to look at this lesson when you are going to use them and when you are going to omit them in your written or spoken English language as a rule as a rule nouns in English do not take articles now as a rule nouns all the nouns in English do not take articles when used in general sense when you are using nouns in english in general sense in general sense you don't put any article you don't put the you don't put and you don't put a when you are using that in general sense however if you are using nouns in a particular sense or in particular senses then you have to put the or an or a with that article with the in the sentence so let's say that again as a rule nouns in english do not take article when used in general sense however if they are used in a particular sense the article is needed you you, you need the you need a or you need an if you are using nouns in a particular sense Outside that, if you are not using, if you are using nouns in general sense in English, we don't put the article. We don't put article the or an or a. Here we are looking at article the. Now let's take some examples so that we understand what we are saying. Let's take some examples. Number one, if you are in with plural nouns, we are looking at now. With plural nouns, remember we say as a rule, nouns in English do not take articles when, when you use them in general sense. But in particular sense, you, you need them. Now let's take number one. Here, this rule with plural nouns. With plural nouns. If you are, if you have plural nouns, how do you use that? Look at that. Lions are fearless animals. Now here, we are using the animal lion in general sense. So we don't need to put any article here. We say, lions are fearless animals. Now, if you want to use that in particular sense, then we put this word there. Here we have the lion in the zoo belongs to Mr. Jao. The lions in the zoo belongs to Mr. Jao. We are using that in, we are using lions in a particular sense. And so we put article there. The lions in the zoo belong to Mr. Jao. Let's look at number two. If we are using nouns, if you are using abstract nouns, with abstract nouns, abstract nouns like courage, bravery, wisdom, I mean abstract nouns, there are nouns that you cannot touch, you cannot touch them with your hands, they are abstract nouns. So if you are using abstract nouns in general sense, for example, patience, you don't need it, you don't need them, you don't need the article there. Let's take that. Patience is a great virtue. Patience is a great virtue. 
Now, if you are using that word person in a particular sense, then you add it. The presence of Job was commendable. The presence of Job, the presence of Job, we are using it in a particular sense here now, referring to that of Job. The presence of Job was commendable. Let's go to number three. Number three, with material nouns. With material nouns. Water, air, gas, and so on and so forth. With material nouns. Let's take air. Air is vital to life. Air is vital to life. Now, no, this is why using air in, in a general sense. So, when we are using air, water, in a general sense, water is essential to life. Water is necessary to life. We are using water or we are using air in a general sense. So, we don't need any article with that. Now, if we are using mater this material now, air, in a particular sense, then we put the, the air in the room is hot. The air in the room is hot. The water in the container is bad. The water in the feeding bottle is bad. But if you are using that in general, they say water is essential to life. Water is necessary to life. But the water in that bottle is dirty. You see that? Number four. With days, months, and seasons. Remember we say, as a rule, nouns in English do not take particular, do not take article when used in general sense. Here now, we are taking examples with days, months, and seasons. Let's take that. Let's take winter as a season, for example. You say, we use that in general sense. If we are using winter in general sense, or summer in general sense, Say winter is a cold season. We are using winter in general sense. So we say winter is a cold season or summer is a hot season. However, but if we are using winter in a particular sense, we now say the winter of last year was very cold. The winter of last year was very cold. The summer of five years ago was very hot. Here, we are using winter in a particular sense. So we say, the winter of last year was cold. But if we are using winter in a general sense, we say, winter is a cold season. That means we are using winter in, in a general sense. Let's look at other nouns. With names of languages. With names of languages. With names of languages. Now, Look at that. If we use that language in a general sense, for example, Wolof. Wolof is spoken all over Gambia. Wolof is spoken all over Gambia. Now, that is, we are using Wolof, the language, in a general sense. But when we use that in a particular sense, here, we add article D. The Wolof spoken by John is wrong. The Wolof spoken by John is wrong. Here, we are using the language, the language Wolof in a particular sense. So we have this article there. The Wolof spoken by John is wrong. Let's look at number six. With names of meals. With names of meals. Meals like dinner, breakfast, lunch. Dinner, breakfast, lunch. Supper. Now, if we use that in general sense, we don't need article. We say lunch is at 2 o'clock. Lunch is at 2 o'clock. Breakfast is at 10 o'clock. Breakfast is at 8 o'clock. Dinner is at 9 o'clock. Now, but if we want to use this meal in a particular sense, we now say the lunch I had this afternoon was light. The lunch I had this afternoon was lunch. The breakfast I took this morning was heavy. The dinner I will take tonight is light, will be light. I'm using that meal in a particular sense. 
Let's go to the last one. When we use with names of colors. When we are talking about names of colors and we use them, those colors, green, blue, red, whatever, blue, if we are using names of colors in general sense, we don't need to put article. We say, green is my best color. Green is my best color. Red is not a nice color. Blue is my favorite color. I'm using that in a general sense. But if I'm using any of these colors in a particular sense, then I put the article, I put the. The green in that picture has faded. The green in that picture has faded. I'm using green in a particular sense. You see that? So I say the green in that picture has faded. So if you like our video, please share, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up.